Yo guys, welcome back to another video. And these are some things I feel like Forza Horizon 3 is missing. Okay, so the first thing Forza Horizon 3 is missing is a drag strip. Yes, you've got the drag strip where you can do drag races, but it's just not the same as having an actual drag strip. The closest thing to a drag strip is a train track. That is where everybody goes. The train track, the train track bridge in Yara Valley. That is where most people that want to do drag races go. They don't use the airstrip. They just use the train track bridge. If they'd have added just a little section on the map, because the map is big enough, they've got a lot of open space, they could have just added a drag strip. That would have been so good and it would have made a lot of people happy. Also, there's a lot more drag cars in Forza Horizon 3 than Horizon 2. There's more stuff you can do with the cars, like upgrading them to more drag spec cars, even though drag spec isn't actually a class in the game. The next thing I feel like Forza Horizon 3 is missing is a racetrack. I know it's not Forza Mode Sport, it is Forza Horizon, but in the crew on that map, there is racing tracks that you can go on and do races around and stuff and have fun. But in Forza Horizon 3, there's nothing. There should just be a section n near the drag strip, maybe. Like, if there was a drag strip, they could have it next to it, where it, there's like an oval racetrack or something, or something with a few turns, just to do some more drifting, stuff like that. And there is a lot of stuff in the crew which could have been implemented into Forza Horizon 3, which would have made Forza Horizon 3 a lot more of a better game. Not gonna lie, Forza Horizon 3 is a pretty good game at the moment. The next thing they should have added into Forza Horizon 3 is the ability to turn AI off. We've all been there, drifting around the drift section, you're getting a really good skill score, you're getting a really good drift score as well, and you just hit an AI on the last corner. It is so frustrating and there's nothing you can do only apart from something where you go, there's like a way to glitch it or something like that. I don't know if it's a glitch or a special way to do it, but it just seems like so much hard work. Just should be an option in the settings that allows you to turn AI off. Another thing they should have added into Forza Horizon 3 is an underground car park or a multi-story car park. Because a lot of people would like to drift around the bits that take you up the car park. That would be so fun. I think there's, there's stuff like that in the crew now. Well, not the actual crew, in the crew too. I've seen on the Slap Trains video. And it's kind of like that in Watch Dogs. You've got multi-story car parks, you've got underground car parks. It'd be so fun for car meets and stuff like that. So I reckon Forza missed out there. They should have put that in the game. Because they've got a city, they just should have added it. Because every city has multi-story car parks or underground car parks. The next thing they should have added is the ability to turn your engine on or off. It would be so much better in car meets, also the ability to turn headlights on and off as well, and the engine. It would look so good in car meets, and it would just be great in general. Now, another thing they should have added into Forza Horizon 3 is indicators. Being able to turn your indicators on and off, and maybe even your hazard lights. The only indicators in the game is by the AI, which you sadly can't control. Yes, Forza is a racing game, and you're meant to race in that, but... A lot of people like to just cruise around as an AI in Forza Horizon 3 because it's open world, you can do that, you're not racing all the time. And you just want to obey the rules sometimes in the game and go slow and take turns and not overtake AI all the time. And then when you go to turn a corner, the AI is indicating and you're not and it looks like you're breaking the rules. And it just make it a, a bit more realistic. Another ability they could have added into the game is being able to turn your windscreen wipers on and off. Now I've never really thought about this before until I picked up Dirt 4 a few weeks ago. You can turn your wipers on and off in Dirt 4 and it is so cool. You can turn them on so they're slow normal and then you can turn them so they're going really quick and then you can just turn them off completely just by pressing like LB or RB or something. This would have made the game a lot more cooler especially in car meets like if it starts raining. The wipers go on of course on on every car and you can't turn them off, you're just stuck with the wipers on. And sometimes it can be a bit annoying and it could be a bit of a challenge. You could, there's a bit of a cool challenge you could do. Try and do a race of Goliath in the rain with your wipers not on. So it'd be very hard to see. That would have been a nice challenge actually. Now this is going more like test drive now. But I reckon you should be able to buy houses in the game. That would be so cool, being able to just buy a house with the money you get, getting a bigger and better house. In Test Drive, you could buy houses and it would start off with not very good one, but then as you progressed through the game, earning money and that, you could then buy bigger and better houses in nicer areas of the map. Then again, it wouldn't really work in Forza because they just give you money for like going onto the game and stuff, so everyone's rich on the game. 
But in Forza Horizon 3, there is a lot more houses than Horizon 2. So that would have been a very cool option, I reckon, just being able to buy houses on the game. That would have been very, very cool. So guys, those were some option stroke additions I feel like are missing from Forza Horizon 3. If you have any yourself, then just pop them down in the comment section. I might make a whole video on it if I get enough, but yeah. Thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you want to be around here. But until next time, peace out.